Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We're back in Captain of Industry. We got some problems to solve. A fairly big problem to solve and it is our diesel is declining rapidly. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. To conserve diesel in the short term, I'm going to pause our rubber production because we have tons of rubber. Boom, boom. And then the reason our diesel is suffering, I believe is our um, boiler here is not getting water. This is all part of our big water project. We're not getting quite enough throughput in the water pipes. So I'm going to shut off water going to our community supply. Pause that pipe temporarily. Boom. That's going to direct any water that's coming in this direction down this way. And across and over down to these areas it'll fill this up and this is the one these are the guys that are actually supplying um, our farms as well as that boiler down there the other thing I'm gonna do instead of boosting our oil production or diesel production we, we could leave those boosts on actually it's not gonna hurt let's boost water production for the time being um, with our distillers, get more water on the line. Hopefully those won't back up due to throughput issues. We'll get those going. They're just gonna chew through coal and produce a bit more pollution than we would like, but that's all right. And then I'm gonna look at the water reserves here. That is climbing, so I'm gonna... Oh, but look, I cannot push water on. Oh man, that's our problem. We're just, we're not able to get the throughput into this pipe. Oh man, we are going to get pipe upgrades, which will make this much more viable. But yeah, we're having an issue with pipe throughput. Being able to supply all this stuff. But I think this boost may help. We'll see. We'll see how things go. We'll keep an eye on it. Um, in the meantime, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about that, to be honest. Uh, we've got lots of unity. We're in the negative. That's fine. In the meantime, I want to convert our steam production over here in our oil processing area to produce steam from light oil instead of this coal belt. This coal belt that you see here, I kind of want to repurpose that and I want to bring limestone down into this area. Where we're doing this work why do i want to bring limestone down because i want to get to producing fertilizer and if we look at fertilizer one we need ammonia which we're producing from our sour water stripper right now that's just polluting so we're wasting that and generating pollution we'll need oxygen so we'll get it we'll get an air separator for that that'll get us fertilizer and then to take that to the next level fertilizer two we need fertilizer, limestone, and that's why I want to repurpose this coal belt to bring limestone through. And then sulfur, which we have obviously right next door here, right? We got a bunch of sulfur coming out of this processing, the sour water stripping. Um, so that would get us fertilizer too, and we can start um, pumping that into our farms. And this isn't a bad place to do that processing. So again, it'd be nice to use this belt right here for limestone. And we have limestone fairly far, routed fairly close. Where is it? It's down here is our limestone belt. So we could tap into that. I mean, the, the mine is up here. Here's the closest belt. We could bring that down and we could connect to that coal belt that I'm talking about repurposing. Right anywhere in this area anywhere in this area I don't think we're using coal downstream from here I could be wrong are we smelting with it no the smelting is taking place over here and that's being the copper smelting that's being fed from this belt and then this is kind of where things fork the coal is under here boom comes around and it gets forked and here's the spot. Here's the line that's feeding our brickworks. Boom, boom, boom. 
Once we're past the brickworks, we're done with coal. The rest of this coal is just going down to the boiler. So, I looked at the recipes, and I think, I think this is going to work out. If we, oh man, we're going to run out of diesel while I'm talking, probably. Um, I think this will work out. If we look at steam, this gas boiler has a recipe where for 54 light oil, we can get 48 high pressure steam. It's a little more heavily polluting than the coal burning is doing for the steam for the same amount of steam, but not much more polluting. And hopefully eventually we'll be able to, um, scrub that exhaust and make it a little less pollutant. But so how much light oil do we actually have and how much steam do we need? In terms of how much steam we need, let's take these boosts off for a second. Boom, boom. To run all of our refining here. Ooh, and we're borrowing steam over here too. Forgot about that. But assuming nothing's boosted, we've got three steam here. Another 12 steam there for 15 steam. And then another six steam here. High pressure steam. For a total of 21 steam. So 21 steam from the gas boiler is a little less than half, right? Half would be, you know, this would be 42 if it was half. So it's a little less than half of what is produced from 54 light oil. So how much light oil are we actually producing here, unboosted? Well, we've got 24, right? 24 light oil. So if we go back to this formula, 24 is less than half here. Is it enough? I, you know, it's hard for me to know. I guess I'd have to get the calculator out and see if that's enough. Um, yeah, we don't have an in-game calculator. I guess I could do that real quick. It'd be 24 over 54 times 48, right? 24 over 54. 24 divided by 54 is 0.444 times. I've got a calculator open on a different screen here. Times what? Times 48. That gets us 21.3. 21.3. So is that what we said we needed in terms of steam? 21.3? Yeah, we got 3, the 1215, plus 6 is 21. So it, I, th I think it's going to, I think it's going to work. If it doesn't, we'll be in trouble. We can always throw another boiler down to burn heavy oil. But let's do it. Let's undertake this project. Um, so we need to dip in and find out where our light oil is be coming through. It it's might be might be this one, right? There it is. Light oil. So instead of flaring it, we want to send it out. We need that flare there because I think this pipe is actually... Is that pipe shared with heavy oil? It doesn't look like it, actually. I thought it was. Yeah, there's the light oil coming out. Uh, looks like, no, the heavy oil has its own flare over there. Okay. This is our light oil. I guess that flare is going to go away. Uh, where are we going to do this? Probably right here. We want to replace these diesel tanks and stuff too. Oh, man. A lot to figure out. Uh, we could do it. We could do it here. That production. Oh, man, I'm hesitating because I'm trying to think of how we're going to scale this out. This diesel production. I don't know if we're going to want more ever or if we're going to find other ways to produce diesel and this isn't a big deal for us. What's going on with the power? Oh, man, let's go check. It's probably water. Is it water issues? What's going on, fellas? My great plans of doing water are, are not so great. They have water. What's the problem? What's the problem, fellas? Full output. High pressure steam. So you're good. You're unhappy. High pressure turbine needs transport to output steam low. Steam low is there. 
I was nervous about this backing up, right? We might need to get a balancer in here somewhere, a pipe balancer. That's going to be a drag. But we could do it. We could do it. To vent off this low pressure steam. Yeah, these guys are complaining. Oh man, so much to do. Transport to output steam low. Curious why that is backing up. Just double check our math here. We got steam low, 24 times 4 is what, 96. So the pipes can all handle that. And then these guys each take 24, right? So that should be another 96 being handled. And then these guys might be hung up on low pressure steam. What do these guys take? 24 each. This sure looks like it's all balanced to me. What's the problem? Are there throughput issues when we go through splitters? This guy's complaining. Low pressure turbine needs a transport to output steam depleted. Yeah, this is full. Something's weird, right? Water is full. Our water supply line is full. You know what we're going to do? I'm going to put in a little cheater pipe that may solve part of our problem and doesn't really hurt anything. This is going to allow water to go into this storage. Um, it's kind of a temporary fix because once this all gets filled up, then we're going to have the same backup issue. So let's see. Priority input. We could put a pipe balancer here. Have the priority input be the reclaimed steam. Have that be the priority input feeding this. And then this would be our secondary input. This is our water main coming in. And say only pull from the water main if this is backed up. Let's see about doing something like that. Might be the answer we're looking for for all of this. Of course, placement's going to be a little challenging. Because it's a little snug. But I think we can pull that off. I think we can pull that off. In fact, it would go right there. So let's do it. Let's do this. A little bit of a distraction from what we want to work on. But I think it kind of needs to happen. Okay. Remove. Quick remove. This is just going to ensure that if our water main is backed up, like you can't push any more water onto the main water network. Um, have all of your water go into this. If they're both backed up, then I guess it's no big deal. I don't, I don't think there's a scenario where we're going to have to use smokestacks, but we'll see. We'll at least try this. Okay, so here comes water from the water main. Boom. Here comes water from our reclamation. Boom. So here we want priority input, that guy. Um, there is no real priority output. We can just send these both out. I don't know that it matters. We'll get extra throughput or not. Those can just be outputs. Out, out. That's a priority in. I think that solves a little bit of our issue. Oh, does this thing need power or something? It does. Is there something special I need? No, I don't need to do anything. As long as the power doesn't go out, we're in good shape. Um, and this whole setup is kind of ensuring that doesn't happen. Okay, now no one should be whining about not being able to vent their steam. This one's almost drained out. Got a few more things to go. Not urgent. We got a few more of these we can take down while we're here. Boom, boom. Okay, that should solve that 
problem. In fact, now I can kick these on. And we'll see. It won't hurt anything to just make sure we're loading as much water as we can. Maybe a little inefficient later. Right now, we know the pipe can handle 200, 200 per 60 seconds. So this is 60. No, that's 48, 48, and 48. Whatever that is, 144. And theoretically, no other water should be going to the main. Oh, did I mess something up? This pipe right here. Oops, 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 oops. Yeah, this is the pipe going out to the main. Interesting. Um, let me think that through for a second. Let me think that through. Priority input. Take it from these guys. And then this is the overflow. So I want another pipe balancer here to say, for all the water coming out of our reclamation, send it all through here. Don't send it there. Uh, no, not, I don't know that I really do want that, though. Yeah, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I'd rather have it circulate. I want every supplier to at least be somewhat feeding the main. Because once we upgrade pipes, we'll want that. Especially when this backs up. Um, I think that's what I want for now. We could further t solve our current problem by doing what I just said, putting a balancer on this pipe that's feeding the main and saying, don't feed the main line loop or water line unless um, these tanks are full. But I don't, I don't think that's where I want to go. I'd rather have them be filling up from the main. All right. Not sure if that made sense or not to you. Makes sense to me. Um, we shouldn't see any more problems over there. Okay, that's solved. Kind of, I think. What are these guys doing? Are they backing up? They're not. So these are their pipes feeding the main. Those guys seem to be draining out pretty good. What are we doing over here? This is the one we want to see fill up. It's not filling up yet. There's a lot of pipe downstream. What are you doing? Are you getting water? Yeah, your pipe is now full of water. So you're running pretty steady. Okay, back to it. We want to bring light oil out somewhere into boilers and then route that steam to connect that steam up probably with this pipe I think I don't know that I want to move all these steam pipes around so we'll probably just run a steam pipe along the ground and connect up to here and disconnect this guy so let's do it it's just one boiler um it's a gas boiler. It's going to take light oil, kick out steam. Would it make more sense to do it like this? I'm trying to see where the input is. I guess there's two, right? Oh, you need water too. Um. Let's plunk this down there. Water. Where are you getting your water, buddy? From here. That won't be too horrible-ish. Let's route the light oil first. I think that's here. Pipes. Big pipe. Why not? You down to here. Boom. And then water, you need to somehow do a silly move to give me water. Is that acceptable? I think I'll take that. And then steam. Steam is, uh, I guess if we boosted a bunch of stuff, maybe we need the big pipe. Steam's gonna come down. We 
here. Do we have a path through here? We kind of do if we want. I think this will come through. Maybe. Um, it has to dip. Does it have to dip? No. I'm trying to connect. I want you just coming straight on through. Perfect. Just like that. And then once that's all built, oh, we need exhaust. Carbon dioxide and exhaust smokestack. Um, oh boy. Yeah, this has more exhaust than our little smokestack can handle. Picking out 72. Bummer. Okay, we need the big smokestack. Of course, it's going to mess up my design. Um, I'm not going to cry much. You can just park your self there. And okay, we need a big pipe. Okay, I want to see this go. Um, this isn't going to help our water situation at all. Um, this is just getting prepped for fertilizer production. I'm really concerned that this is not filling up. Mm. We're not doing any brickworks. This guy is backed up like a broken toilet. It's only its full output. So I think we're just filling this big long section of pipe or something, yeah. Ideally, we'd see this number climbing. And it is not, right? It is clearly not climbing. That is the water making its way over to the boiler. Why? Why? Could be that the whole nature of this thing circulating is a problem. Because at best, this guy's only going to get half ever of this water supply coming through. The only way to really get around that would be to put pipe balancers all over the place saying if you have, if you're forking off to supply water to production, prioritize the fork before you pass water down the network. Not sure that's what I want long term though, because we'll starve out everything downstream even more so than we're doing now if we do that. Bummed though. I can't tell what the throughput is here. I guess it's 50%, right? Because it's 10. The water is constantly going down here. Probably will continue to until all of these storage tanks are are full. That's part of the issue. Then once things start to back up, um, more water will go feed where it's most needed rather than just moving its way, circulating through the whole network. Yeah, these guys are backed up. So, I think running three of these probably doesn't make sense. This guy is loaded. That's the return supply one, the lower pipe. Nobody pulls from that for a long time till it loops. Till it loops way over here. Boom. comes all the way around and then eventually it loops around and, and becomes the upper pipe. That's where everybody's taking from. These guys are trying to put more water on the line. There's room on the pipe still. We shut off this guy. Oh man, they're actually using that up. Oh man. Yeah, we're using that water faster than I thought. Oh my goodness. We're on single speed too. Hmm. My great big plans for island-wide water network not working as expected. What can we do about it? Uh, we can put our head in the sand and just wait for upgraded pipes, but they are a ways out. I just was looking at this. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. It's wastewater treatment we need, but we got seven things queued up for research. 
And the research seems to be going a bit slower now. But we need wastewater treatment, then we can get these pipes. Seems like we need to prioritize that, doesn't it? I think we do. I really think we do. Let's pull some of these back. All of them back, really. We'll finish the salt production. But I wanna, oh boy. Yeah, we got three things just to get to it. Oh man. I think we really need these pipes. Um, we made the investment in a big network here. We have to try and see this thing through. Oh man. Water. That's our main coming through. These guys are kind of doing their thing. I put a third one on, it's just going to get backed up like this guy. Bummer. These guys are all upgraded pipes. Yeah, we just have to wait till we get those better pipes, I think. Don't think there's a way around it. That pipe's not a problem. That's just the water we're producing from here. It never amounts to a whole lot. Diesel looks like it's starting to recover. So this guy is getting enough water to survive. But we're still fairly anemic, and we need to unpause this. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, our people are drinking tons of water. Um, What can we do about it? I'm going to unpause this, since diesel seems to be recovering a little bit. So we'll get rubber production going again. Chew through some of that sulfur. And let's see, can we get this thing built? 40 concrete slabs. We should have plenty of those. 742. Yeah, we just need to wait for those to be delivered. Do I need to pick a recipe? Nope. They're all selected by default. Let's make this a priority. I don't think I have any other building projects actually on the island at the moment. And once that's online, we can stop this one and think about routing our limestone across the island and doing and starting to do fertilizer one and fertilizer two production. Maybe where are we gonna do that product? Maybe maybe over here or something. We also need to change our storage. Uh, can we do that now? Let's pause these guys. Pause. Pause, pause, pause. See if we can use up the rest of this crude oil and then um, replace these guys. Uh, we can demolish. Boom, boom, boom. Want to get the bigger tanks here. I'm not sure how many we'll be able to fit in. It'd be nice if we could get four big giant ones, but I don't think we can. Um, this diesel we're going to have to drain out somewhere too, temporarily. Um, yeah, they can... I see trucks moving around. Not sure where our construction materials are. We have... All kinds of blocks here. Hopefully they can get to them. Okay. Truck. Export. Is on. Yeah. I think when we created this and it was attached to another one, even though it's a different product, it turned off the truck export. So that's why we're not getting... Concrete slabs delivered. Look at our concrete slab. It's actually backed up. Oh, man. What's going on with construction part threes? You guys are thirsty for construction part twos. 
Construction part two is look like they're thirsty for electronics for some reason. The electronics are thirsty for rubber because we have that weird situation where we're dependent on that rubber. I'm gonna... I'm gonna unleash this belt. This is basically just gonna empty these storages so we can get caught up on electronics production. I'm sure we have plenty of copper. Man, so many things to work on. We should start seeing concrete slabs being delivered. Look and see, are these them? Looks like they are. Yeah, here they come for that. Like I said, diesel is recovering. This is really depressing that we don't have water here and concerning. And the fact that this pipe is <laughs> it's getting has less and less water. Less and less water. That's gonna hurt our diesel production. We're gonna run out of water. Uh there's no reclaiming water over here, is there? Something I miss? Reclaiming water. Don't think so. Yeah, we can't scrub. Oh, we could do... We could do another kind of shortcut. A little tiny sip of water that's coming out of this guy. We could allow to go right back into the boiler. Or at least have a pipe that's feeding into that. It's a little ugly. But it might be called for in this situation. It would be you somehow making your way up to here. <laughs> Can you do it? Oh man, it's embarrassing. Too close to another connector. Um, that's water coming in to this boiler. Yeah, yeah, this one's going to take over. So we want it... We want something real easy, right? This. What that pipe does... Is just allows... The water coming off of our sour water stripper... To feed our brand new boiler. That's all. And if it... It's full, even if it's not, half it's going to go there. If it's backed up, it's just going to go back to the main water line. Should be fine. Should never back up, I don't think. We'll see. This whole setup may require some fine tuning. Tweak it as we go. All right, good. This guy's done. Let's kill that one off and kill off this. Smokestack is now, I think, up and running. Are you going to fire up? Light oil. I need to turn off. I need to kill this smokestack. Don't need it anymore. That's chewing up our light oil. Boom. Boom. And we need to reverse this pipe. Boom. That's taking the light oil from this one and sending it up here. The light oil goes in. Here comes the... New boiler doing its things, belching out pollution. Where's your pollution? Should have been coming out of here. I don't see it. Maybe it uh, hooks it. Oh, it's just carbon dioxide. Yeah, so we're not going to see it. Okay, that's all good. Um, let's let this thing run. Until it says it's got too much steam. Hmm. 
seems like once it fills the pipe, it should it should back up with both of these boilers running. I would think, yeah, this guy's backed up now. Let's shut him off. And see how long we can run with the new setup. Oh, okay, it does smoke. I've never seen it. So that I think that's still gonna be it's gotta be less pollution than just burning off the all that light oil. So we're making steam out of it. I think we're gonna be able to get by. If not, we can make steam out of the heavy oil too. And just connect up to that same steam pipe. I think we're I think we're good there. How's our water doing? Oh man. It's this pipe right here, right? Twenty-four. 26. Um, 22. <laughs> Get lower. I think we're just going to have to ride out the storm. Ride out the storm. A lot of water's going in here now. We got these guys boosted. Unity is on a slight negative, but not bad. Um, running these distillers like this is kicking up our pollution big time, I'm sure not the best way to get water. We could put thermal desalination down. We probably will. Um, let's see what's going on over here. We're starting to get some water to accumulate. Once this backs up, I don't think it's going to help the water network because extra water coming off our reclamation is just going to back up the, uh, the supply line. This, Oh, what's going on? This one down here. Yeah, it's already at 100%. It can't take any more water. So once we fill this up, we're going to have to turn off the wells. And then hopefully things don't back up on us. We'll just see. Like I said, we're waiting on... We're waiting on research and quite a bit of it before we get more throughput. And we're going to get a ton more throughput. It's going to go up to 450. So more than double the throughput from our pipes. And hopefully that's enough to sustain an island-wide water network. If not... We'll have to just rethink it and do regional, some kind of regional water networks or something. Maybe one just for this area and something different for the middle. But man, I was really hoping we could have one network. Let's look at the research tree and see if there's any more pipe upgrades. Doesn't look like it, does it? Looks like that might be it. Pipes three. Can always use trucks. Uh, conveyor belts three. I'm just skimming. I may miss them. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I think that's as much as we can get. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Let's do fertilizer production. Or no, let's finish this oil thing here. This is uh, kind of important. We just shut off our supply of crude. We do have lots of diesel, which is good, but... Let's get this figured out. Uh, last time we said we wanted to run a pipe between all of these connectors so we don't end up with one that's kind of full and the other is not. So let's do that. Um, you I want gone and you I want gone. Uh, these guys, this one's empty and that one's about to be empty. That can go and probably all this can go. Storage, big, and then storage three. Um, how do we want, how do we want? That boiler, I guess I can get it out of there. It's kind of in my way now. Feels like that's a good spot. Boom. That one's now empty. Let's get rid of all this mess.
These storages are going to be able to be upgraded, I think. Another one more level, I believe. Let's get this on to crude oil. This boiler, I think we're gonna get rid of it. It's kind of in my way. Do it. May, re <laughs> may regret it. May regret it. Let's get rid of it. Coal belts. Let's pull back to somewhere like there. And what else do we have in there? Do we have. That's our steam. That's fine. Um, I don't need this water line anymore from you down to here. That all goes. And then crude is this one, right? So we'll just come across the bottom. It's weird. You really won't connect to there, huh? It's just exactly in the wrong spot, is that it? Strange, strange, strange. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. We need this down on the ground anyway. Down on the ground, and then... This has to go one nugget back. We don't need all these connections, but for looksies, we'll do it. Probably looks better. That's what I want. And we got to set this guy to crude. Where are you? Getting tired, apparently. Crude, crude. We have a connection problem here. Someone's crying. Okay, now it's happy. Unpause. Uh, let's do it with this tool. Boom. Alright, pump away, fellas. Really? Alright, alright. Got a bunch of unity. Let's see how our oil guys are doing here. Tons of stored product there. What about this guy? Yeah, tons of stored product. So our ship was just waiting. Oh! Did I upgrade? I set an upgrade for the oil rig and I never delivered. Is that true? Do we have a bunch? Yeah, we do. Alright. Let's load the crew and go upgrade that oil rig. Might as well. That was when we had an abundance of construction part threes and I just wanted to get rid of them. Let's go deliver that cargo and we'll upgrade that oil rig. It's going to be a while before we can explore new areas. Let's check the water pipe again. I know I'm obsessing over it. 20, yeah, it's slowly going down. We're going to have to figure out something. But I'm not sure what, how to fix that. Might have to temporarily run water off of this over to here. Over to, oh man, way over there. It's going to ruin my whole design. Um, but a pipe going from here over to here would have more throughput. Although there's not a ton of water here. Oh, struggles. Struggle, struggles. How's our research? Are we at least pumping equipment in there? Yeah, we are. So we could get another research lab and speed things up. I can't boost this. 
got backed up recyclables. I'm gonna wait till we have glass production before we do that. All right, let's get back to thinking about fertilizer. I think we're all set here, right? Yeah, we gotta wait for the ship to come back. And we eventually wanna replace these. How best to do that? We could. We'd have to pause a pipe, right? These are lined up like this. So if we did... Yeah, I'd like a lot of diesel production. I mean, a lot of diesel uh, storage. Like a whole lot of diesel storage. Like maybe four of these giant things. How could we do that? I guess we would need to first pause this pipe. And let this, 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 and this drain out. <laughs> or we could set up some temporary tanks just out of the way. Uh, that's something we need to do. So let's give it some thought. Then we'll get to doing the fertilizer someday. Um, what we would want... These guys are fine for the shipyard. We're not going to upgrade that storage. He's got way more than he ever needs. But I would like to get four big storages of diesel here somehow. Weaved in here. It could even be... Up this way. One, two, three, four... Hmm. Or we could just do one, two, three, four, something like this. Yeah. Maybe we do that. I think these... Let's see if I uh, grab something. Let's see if we can count the squares these guys take up. Uh, it's a little challenging. One, two, three, four, five... So 10 wide, and these are, what, 5 each? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. yep, 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 yep. So we could do these. This would be... Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this is going to work for us. You and you. And then we'll let this guy do its thing. You can... Oh, better yet... Better yet, better yet. I want... I think this pipe. I'm going to borrow from this pipe to fill these two storages. Let's um, get this onto diesel. Did I do the wrong loose storage? Goodness. Embarrassing. Fluid storage, please. I think they're still ten wide. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Halfway through. Um. Yeah, here. Boom. Boom. Diesel. And diesel. I want to borrow from this pipe. This is temporary. I think. You into there. And then this guy, I'm going to pause it. Eventually, we're just going to delete that. So right now, this is going to drain out. Whoops, did I? Yeah, I want that pause. Sorry. This is all going to drain out. And our supply of diesel is going to start filling into these tanks. Once these two are full, we'll delete all these. Once this is all drained out. And then we'll just route this pipe, this one right here actually, into the new big giant, two big giant storages. So that that's project is on its way. Hey, what? Let's wrap this episode. We do have a big problem. It's water. Um, maintenance is fine. Food's fine. I'm sure. Didn't even need to look hardly. Construction part threes are not doing so fantastic. That was electronics. Electronics looks like they're fine. What's going on now? I just not have enough. Not enough production kicked on. Yeah, let's, um, we got the workers. Get these things going. I think we have all the materials we need. Yeah, so let's leave it here. 
Special thanks to Glattercat patrons and channel members. Really appreciate your support of the channel. Hope you guys are guys and ladies are enjoying this series. Um, also, thanks to those of you giving the videos a thumbs up and providing your feedback, noting things I might be missing or providing suggestions. I really, really do appreciate it. I read and consider every comment, every suggestion. And uh, as I play, I try to explain my reasoning for doing things. I know it's not going to be perfect. We're kind of gradually um, iterating to get a more sophisticated, more organized factory. This water line that we did is one step towards that. And we'll eventually remove a lot of this belt spaghetti. I hope that's my plan. Terraforming's doing pretty good, right? Tearing things down. Yeah, I think we're in good shape. So we'll leave it there and I will catch you all in the next episode.